Welcome to AG Chelsea TV. In today's video we'll start with Man United wants Trevo Chalabar. According to Fitches, the Red Devils are eager to strengthen their defense in preparation for the next season. Man United are looking at several options to improve their squad in the summer under new leadership of Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and they believe Chalabar is the right player to add to the team. The 24-year-old central defender has played for Chelsea since childhood. He advanced quickly through the ranks and joined their first-team squad in the summer of 2021. Despite having a few successful seasons in the beginning, the former England youth international has since fallen down the pecking order at Stamford Bridge. Although he did play enough first-team football last season, he missed much of the 2023-2024 campaign due to injury. Chalabar has only made for first-team appearances, the player and the Blues have a deal that expires in the summer of 2028. However, he could be leaving in the summer to pursue a regular first-team role. The 24-year-old doesn't fit in at the London club, so moving might allow him to start his football career again. Despite his injury troubles, he is being pursued by several elite teams in Europe, including Bayern Munich. Because of his enormous potential and his previous outstanding form, they are eager to invest in him. Chalabar has recently been linked to a number of teams, including Man United. The Red Devils attempted to sign him in the summer of last year, but were unable to reach an agreement. They are still interested in signing him, as they aim to strengthen the defence. Chelsea eye Liverpool manager target. The Reds have been working in the background since Jurgen Klopp announced in January that he would be standing down at the end of the season. With Alonso quickly emerging as the standout candidate to replace Klopp, the Spaniard, 42, has excelled in his first senior management role at Bayer Leverkusen who are unbeaten in all competitions this term and appear en route to a first-ever Bundesliga title, unfortunately for the Reds. Bayern Munich are also in the market for a new head coach and Alonso is their primary choice to succeed Thomas Tuchel. The Reds have alternative options in mind if Alonso heads to Bavaria, chiefly sporting Lisbon boss Amarim. But the highly rated Portuguese is attracting attention from Stamford Bridge and, as reported by The Guardian, is being monitored by the powers that be at Chelsea, with Chelsea expected to review Pochettino's position, there's an increased likelihood that they could rival Liverpool for the services of Amarim. Current Brighton boss Roberto De Zerbi has also been mooted as a potential candidate, despite their recent decline. Chelsea still have ways to raise cash even if they retain Conor Gallagher, according to transfer journalist Ben Jacobs. Chelsea have numerous players, they could sell to generate enough funds to not breach PSR and FFP rules. According to previous beliefs, Chelsea had to sell Gallagher among other names to ensure they were not violating any rules. However, with Jacob's latest revelation, Chelsea can breathe a sigh of relief that they do not have to necessarily sell one of their best players, and Tottenham might have to redirect their transfer business. Here is what the journalist exclusively told Give Me Sport. We mustn't forget that Chelsea feel they can get £30 million, £35 million, for Ian Matson. The obligation to buy for Lewis Hall is expected to kick in, and that's £30 million plus. You've got Romelu Lukaku, who Chelsea feel they can still get £35 million for. Trevo Chalabar is surplus to requirements. Mark Cucurella, it's not unthinkable that he would be sold for the right price. Armando Brohar is for sale and on loan at Fulham. If that works out, perhaps Fulham would be prepared to drop £35 million or something in that ballpark. So if you discount Conor Gallagher and add up all of those other names and fees, even if just two or three of the four or five of those names were sold, that's still going to be £70 million to £100 million. Chelsea keen on Paolo Dybala, a report from Fitches has claimed that Barcelona, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Manchester United are keen on signing 30-year-old World Cup winner Paolo Dybala at the end of the season. The Argentine international has been in impressive form this season, scoring 12 goals and picking up 7 assists in 19 league matches. He could prove to be a superb acquisition for all for clubs. Barcelona need more depth in their attack, and Dybala is versatile enough to operate in several roles. He will add goals and creativity to the Barcelona attack and help them improve going forward. Barcelona are expected to miss out on the league title this season, and they want to bounce back strongly. They need to sign quality players to do well next term, meanwhile, Arsenal need an upgrade on Gabriel Jesus, who has failed to score goals consistently. He has netted just four times in the league this season, and Dybala could prove to be a major upgrade. Dybala has the skills to help out creatively as well and he could be the ideal player to lead the line for Arsenal. As for Chelsea, they have struggled to score goals since last season, and the signing of Nicholas Jackson has not worked out. The Blues are in desperate need of a reliable goalscorer, 
and the World Cup winner could prove to be a solid acquisition, meanwhile, Manchester United have been tracking him for a long time as well. Dybala is a proven performer at a high level, and he could be the ideal partner for Rasmus Hodgland in the final third. The Denmark international needs time to fulfil his potential, and Manchester United need an experienced alternative right now. Dybala could share the goal-scoring burden with the talented young striker next season. The 30-year-old is likely to be tempted to join the biggest clubs in the world, and it remains to be seen how the situation develops. Todd Burley sent Ruben Amarim message, Ruben Amarim is one of the favourites to replace Mauricio Pochettino. Should the Argentine be sacked as Chelsea head coach, Football.London understands that the club's intention has always been, and remains, to review Pochettino at the end of the season. The 52-year-old is less than 12 months into his two-year contract with the Blues, but there is already immense pressure on his shoulders. A report from The Guardian earlier in the week suggested that while Chelsea still plan on reviewing Pochettino's position in the summer, the club have already looked at possible replacements for the Argentine. Amarim, the sporting CP boss, is someone who has been looked at, though, it might not be so easy when it comes to Amarim. Liverpool, who are losing Jurgen Klopp at the end of the season, are said to be looking at the sporting boss, too, although their first choice is reportedly Zabi Alonso, so that, theoretically, might open the door for Chelsea when with Amarim. The 39-year-old Portuguese coach has been with Sporting since March 2020 has won the Primeira Liga title once, the Taka da Liga twice and the Supertica Candido de Oliveira on one occasion as well. In a poll conducted by Football.London, over 3,000 Chelsea supporters answered whether or not they would take Amarim at Stamford Bridge. Around 2,100 said yes, 807 responded with no, and 585 people put, not sure. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support AG Chelsea TV.